Crypto governance is the term we use when we're talking about how a blockchain network makes high-level decisions. To be clear, this governance is not about government. Actually, that's a good place to start. Why do people trust the value of traditional fiat currency? It's based on faith in the government backing the currency. In the US, the Federal Reserve Board makes decisions that can affect the supply and value of the dollar. For example, interest rate hikes or quantitative easing. Governments can regulate cryptocurrency activity within their own country, but blockchain networks operate independently. So who has the control? Who gets to make decisions about something like updating a network protocol? A really profound part of blockchain technology is that it lets us explore and reinvent control mechanisms for currency on a global level. So there are many different governance structures in use today. Two terms, on-chain and off-chain, are important for understanding governance. For on-chain decisions, network participants vote through a process embedded within the blockchain. In many cases, voting eligibility is based on holding tokens, and smart contracts can execute on an approved change. For off-chain decisions, the network developers and core users discuss changes through other channels, in person at conferences, online forums, or across electronic modes of communication. Both forms offer distinct advantages. On-chain governance reflects the ethos of decentralization and embraces full use of blockchain technology. Off-chain governance enables thoughtful, deliberate change. Visionary guidance encourages differentiation, which leads to more variety in the overall crypto space. Most blockchain networks use hybrid governance structures that combine on and off-chain decision mechanism to varying degrees. We have a lot of choice in how we make choices. If you want to understand the structure we use, check out the link below to the SHX governance rules.